And Ed Orgeron's Bayou Bengals begin a challenging stretch, what they hope will take them into playoff contention. It takes a good team and a special effort to beat LSU here at night. And we'll see if the Florida Gators are up to it. It's been pretty mellow. No, no pushing and shoving. Both the board have won the toss and deferred. So we'll see. That prolific pass attack. Joe Burrow and the Bayou Bengals, they've scored points on all of their opening possessions so far this season. Evan McPherson to boot it away. Clyde Edwards Allaire, the running back, standing at the goal line. This will be fun tonight, folks. Wind at his back, the ball driven into the end zone for a touchback. Field. Burrow looked that way and fires across. Catch made by Jamar Chase, who escapes and gets about nine yards. He's the big deep threat, and he is. You know about Todd Grantham, defensive coordinator. Pressure off the edge, Burrow downfield, throw, and the catch is made at the 32 by Jefferson. He is so... Burrow backpedaling, and he escaped. Spins free, running for his life, stays in bounds, makes a move, knocked out short of the mark worth the 26 by Jeremiah Moon. It's fourth down. And York, who struggled in warm-ups, missing wide left frequently, does so when it matters. And for the first time this year, Ellis. Trask against a four-man rush, delivers high and incomplete. It was off the hands of Kyle Pitts, the tight end. Jacoby Stevens in. That's to that opening series, so if he cannot come back, huge loss for the Gators. Just getting Jabari Zuniga, the other pass rush bookend, healthy. And now a busted hole. Edwards Hilaire's in the clear. It's a foot race. And the Gators will finally chase him down inside the 10. An explosive run for the local product. Wait right for the Tigers. They're playing fast in the red zone. Burrow zips it across the middle. Caught. Touchdown. Jamar Chase. I mean... LSU will crank the tempo extra fast in the red zone, but they remain perfect for the year. 32 for 32 with now 27. On first and 15, Trask, a long throw to the sidelines, and the catch is made by... He's got it again on second down, slams forward and is knocked backwards, but breaks free. Peter Ryan. Bounces out of traffic and into LSU territory. Well, they, see. On second and ten, Trask gets the ball out quickly. It's a slant. It was thrown behind his receiver, Michael Piran. Ready for the snap. On a first down play. He's not afraid to sling it. He keeps it. And he breaks a tackle and a slippery gain of 12. They're in the red zone. Well, different speed and, and LSU down on him quickly. He needs six. Tigers showing a three man rush and they drop eight into coverage. Trask has time underneath. Catch made right at the marker by Grimes. And where they're putting the football down should be very productive for this Gators offense. Third down. Trask, play action. Survey flips it across the middle, back in the end zone, touchdown to Grimes. And the first time Rhodes Tarter looked cool on that drive, didn't he? Boy, he sure did. Showed patience this time. Again, give the offs and a half minutes. And you can't hear the crowd. Nope. That's the answer. McPherson ties the game. So LS John Grenard, their top pass rusher, have a chance to rush, but he's been out most of this game. Gators oh. 
make a stop on third and short. They weren't even properly lined up, but Henderson made a nice tackle on Justin Jefferson. He can just turn a tailback. Trask from the pocket across the middle, and it's caught by Pitts. And the tight end has been a matchup problem. Made a big game against Auburn. Five catches. And in this deafening roar. Unless you dancing around, they bring some pressure. Trask gets away and has room. And he'll take a shot and be knocked down a yard short of the first down by Grant Delpit. They fake it to him. And Burrow over the middle. Delivers a dart. Caught by Jefferson. Justin Jefferson slips a tackle. Step out of bounds. Back near the 4 to 30, I believe, this season. An almost perfect scoring touchdowns. Edward Zelaire shows that leg strength. Sawed off little guy, but boy, is he strung in the lower body. Oh, he is. Low. The receiver looks like he's covered. Burrow, pump fakes, scanning the end zone, rolling out, fires a dart, caught. Is it a touchdown? Jefferson was right in the pylon, and he did get in. Much room. Progressive pylon cam will show what the football complex. He's a graduate, takes all his classes online and prepares like a pro, and it shows. Play action. Trask has some time. Takes a downfield shot, and it's a diving play by Pitts. Athletic tight end went up and got it. Well, that and is second in all of FPS. From the 45, Trask zips a slant and it's another catch made right in front of Stingley by Hammond as they get the slot receiver yep. involved. Florida lost a grip. Sure does. On second and two, P. Ryan makes a cut and he'll make first down yardage and more inside the 30. Trask wearing from a high school spread offense in Georgia, unafraid to sling it and not intimidated by this environment. But there was some confusion. There was no one to fake the handoff to. He still. Battles forward down to the 20. It'll be second and short. You know, I, I, I did that again. Play action. Trask from the pocket takes off. Has yardage. Lowers the shoulder. Shows some toughness. That'll impress teammates. Delpit stopped him, but it's first and goal. Yeah. He ran to his left. There he goes. Straight run. Knocked down short. How about rallying to the football? It's part of the stadium right here. Jones looking to throw, lofts into the end zone, jump ball, caught, touchdown off the carom by Piron. You need a little luck sometimes in Death Valley when you're the visitors. Wow. How about the throw? Justin Thomas actually has. Piron comes down with it, so terrific effort, effort by Emory Jones to put it up, give his players a chance to make a play. And both getting them ultimately quieting the crowd. Burrow, another throw on first down, and it's caught. And it's Thaddeus Moss working free stiff arm. He's dragged down by Sean Davis. In. So you know he wants to put on a good show. Burrow 10 of 11 now. Edward Zelaire, big crease, busted to the open, down the sidelines, touchdown, Tigers. Sometimes when Burrow in the passing touchdown run, what you said is a great point. This is an LSU offense, but the defense is thinking it's first down, they're going to throw, right? It was Pitts in the slot. Trask was looking that direction, tries to find it to him, and draws a flag. That's a matchup all day. You got to take LSU. You. Davis is the bat. They fake it to him. And wide open. Pitts running free. And the tight end continues yeah. to be a weapon. They're threatening inside I've the 40. Been waiting for this. Yeah. Three catches tonight. Traffic, They're patient with this running game. They think they can bust one late. And Second and six. Yeah. 
Trask across the middle again. Again, targeting Pitts, who makes a nice hands catch down in the red zone. He beats. We've been around. It's uh, inside of 30 seconds. Trask takes off. Last minute, flips it short there to Jefferson. He gets out of bounds with 22 seconds left. Third down. Trask looking to his left, zips it short in heavy traffic, caught for a touchdown by Van Jefferson. Another long, impressive drive by this Gators offense. Well, his father's probably one. Excellent routes, of course, as you said, schooled by his dad, transferred from Ole Miss. And talked about how precious it was to spend time with his dad when he goes home to work on just defense. It's Trask to begin the third quarter, and he's looking to throw. Near sideline, coming back to make the catch is Jefferson as he beat. It's his last comment, but how about our offense? <laughs> Trask looking to throw again, Tom, and went very wow. similar route. Once again, Jefferson comes back and beats Stingley. Yeah, they come a veteran. Trask zips it again. Once again, it's Jefferson beating Stingley. You know, opposing quarterbacks, when they target that DB, were 10. On that same island to the left of the formation. High snap. P. Ryan. It's a reverse. End around. And Hammond fighting. Juan spinning for a first down before Stevens stopped him. So a little. Rip. Trask pumps, delivers. Touchdown, Jefferson. It was 11 to 12 throughout the drive. Jefferson hit hard after he caught it. But four oh, catches was... on the drive, and the Gators are on ligament. He fought through the pain, came back, won a lot of credibility in the locker room by playing well in the second half, and it is carried over. You lose, too. A rare first down run for this Tigers offense tonight. Burrow has plenty of time, and now will scramble, and plenty of open space. And he's got a first down, scoots out of bounds across the 40. Well, you, when you're aware of the receiver power passing offense. Burrow zips a short pass. It's caught. Chase breaks a tackle and spins out another first down inside the Gator 45. So quickly three plays and the Tigers are threatening to get even. And Burrow another short pass. Jefferson makes a man miss. It's a nice first down gain of five. If you're sitting back worried about the vertical pass game, they're going to throw it underneath and pick up five quick yards. And now they zip it again as Florida with the tempo offense wasn't really set on defense, and Chase has another first down. Yeah, that's There's the back. Bunch formation to the right. And Burrow steps back, has plenty of time to survey the field, and now just checks it down and flips it to Justin Jefferson. It's all about the Jeffersons for both receiving cores. Well, that, first of all, Edward Solaire sidestep traffic. Look at him drive and muscle into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. And he has such great lateral quickness. The jump cut. Long touchdown marches, Kirk. Low snap is handled nicely by Zach Van Rosenberg. Four-man rush. Trask still harassed and sacked. The first sack of the night. And it's Micah Brooks. Applying that pressure. Once again, Jefferson in the middle. And the ball moves to the 40. It kind of came out. Recovered it at the 40. Davis Price. Muscles straight ahead. Interesting to see Orgeron go with the young tailback, Edward Teller. Get on top of it. And now, busting into the clear. Davis Price scores a touchdown and put the Tigers back in front. Welcome to college football, young fella. His third touchdown in front of him for a touchdown. Steven Sullivan, the tight end, provided a block. And now the third touchdown of the night on the ground for the LSU running backs. And once again, it's the Gator.
Tigers showing pressure, and they bring some. Jones backpedals, fires, incomplete. Tried to find who else pits on the crossing route, but Divinity knocked him down, and it's showing it. It's a reputation, yeah, they bring some pressure. Burrow has time, and a nice dart across the middle, and they convert him for first down for the first time tonight to Chase. But if you... Fourth quarter in the opener. Haven't allowed a point in the final frame since. Second and long, Burrow delivers under pressure. Catch made by Jefferson, and he breaks a tackle. Spins around there, attacking the football, manages to hold on to it inside the 45. Remember last, one of the times he caught the ball, maybe a sins. They fit perfectly in what they're doing with this new offense. Four receivers to the left, one to the right on third and eight. Burrow looking to his left, and it's caught in traffic by Jefferson. Does not have first down yardage. He stopped at the 35. Very iffy field goal. And long again, empty backfield. Tigers showing pressure. They don't bring it. Trask gets it out quickly, and the catch is made by Freddie Swain, who has had a quiet night until that very big play. What a block here by... Trask harassed, delivers, catch made, and that's Grimes still battling, and they've completed two passes on third and long to keep the drive alive across the 45. Trask slant, caught, Swain trying to fight free, excuse me, Copeland, number 15, makes the catch, his first of the night, another first down. Another option look to the boundary and a pitch late to Piran who juggled it but collects it and scoots for another first down. I mean, who's this Kyle Trask? What's he doing? Reverse. Coming around as Jefferson makes a cut. Excuse me, that, that, now that's Swain. Trask. Down to the 12. They fake it to Piran. Trask looking to throw for the end zone. Diving pitch. Stingley made the pick. He'd been picked on all night, and now he makes the Tigers' biggest defensive play. That is a big-time play. He gets beat, as you said, against Jefferson. Tough second half. In the last three games, first to take away tonight, and they're not thinking about milking the clock. Burrow looking to throw across the middle, and it's complete. And Chase is off and running. Heaven again. We'll give it to Piran. Burrow on a slant, and the catch is made by Moss, and muscles for a first down across the 45. Five receiver look, Burrow steps up, and will take a downfield shot, and has Chase, and he'll score! <laughs> 50, out, kind of a pick. And frees up Jamar Chase, who was covered there by C.J. Henderson. And Chase, one of the premier deep threats in all of college, brings some heat again. Now they rush five, clean runner. Trask gets it out. Screen, Swain, first down, another clutch completion on third and very long. Yeah, hit. Brown. He did. Now far side throw, catch made by Jacob Copeland and Trask, sharp. Free play. He jumped offside, Trask spots it and fires into traffic, pits down near the 10. Tigers thought they had their goal line. Fourth and goal. Ball game here. Option look, Trask. Slam to the ground by Chason. LSU makes a stand, and they're going to survive tonight in Death Valley. Yeah, just too slow developing play. Damn, well, this play has worked for them. Work lap. Grenard and Zaniga, they're fine pass rushers. Edward Solaire, who's got 134 yards tonight. Burrow, 21 of 24, 293, <laughs> the three touchdowns. To get healthier, get better. They're a legitimate top four, top five team in the country right now.